As a business owner, trust with customers is huge, and that is why reviews are so important. In fact, businesses with reviews rank better on Google search compared to businesses without reviews, and 93% of people read reviews before making a purchase. So what better place to display your Google reviews than on your business's website? And that's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to display your Google reviews on your WordPress websites for completely free. This is Elliot with Verpex and let's get straight into it. So in order to display your Google reviews on your WordPress website, of course, firstly, you do need to have some reviews of your business on Google. So hopefully you already have that and you can continue on to the next part of the tutorial. However, if you don't have any Google reviews, you can create a Google business profile, which means that your business is then on Google and then you can get some people to review your business. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on Google business profile it's pretty straightforward you just have to create an account and fill in all of the necessary information to get your business onto Google and then like I say you can get some people to review your business so once you have got those Google reviews you can then head over to your WordPress website and from here you are going to go to plugins and click on add new from here you are going to search plugins and you are just going to type in Google reviews and we are going to install this first plugin called widgets for Google reviews. So just click on install now. And once the plugin has finished installing, just click on activate. Once the plugin has finished activating, you can scroll down and on the left hand side, you will see trustindex.io. So just click on this. You can then scroll down and it will say widgets for Google reviews. So firstly, it's going to say connect Google platform. So just click on connect. Once you click on connect, you will then be presented with a pop up from Trust Index and it's going to say Google business profile name or location. So when you create a Google business profile, you will have a Google business profile name and also a place ID. So you're going to use those to paste in here. Now, alternatively, if you can't find those, you can just go and type in the name of your business and then it should come up. So you can see here is this business. So then you're just going to choose your business and then it will say it's got the source and it should show your business, which is from your Google business profile information. And then you can just click on connect. Once you click on connect, you will be brought back to your WordPress dashboard. And basically Trust Index has now taken all of the reviews from your Google profile. So now the next thing to do is to go and choose the layout. Now there are a number of different layouts that you can use. So you can see we've got sliders. So if you go and have a look at the sliders, there are different types of sliders. You've got left aligned, you've got center aligned, you've got right aligned. So you can go and play around and see which one you like best. You have sidebars if you want to display your reviews in a sidebar. You have a list where it will show up like this. You can go for a grid, you can go for a badge, you can go for a button floating and pop up. Now I'm just going to go for a slider like this because I think it looks pretty cool. And we're going to go for the center aligned slider. So I'm just going to go and hit select. Once you select your layout style, it will then say to select the style. So you've got light background, you've got light background that's larger. So you've got a number of different styles that you can use. You can see this one sort of 3D. This one has an outline around it. So just go and have a look at the one that you like the look of the most. I'm just gonna go for this 3D one with a light border because again, I think this looks very nice, very sharp. So we're just gonna go and hit select. And finally, now if you scroll down, it's going to say set up widget. So if you scroll down, you see that you can go and filter your ratings. So you can show all of the ratings or only the five star ratings. You can go and choose your language. You can choose your date format how you want to align your reviews. So we've got center, of course, and then you've got the review text. So if it goes past a certain amount, people can click on read more for them to be able to read more of the review. And then you've got a few other things that you can toggle on and off. For example, you can hide reviews without comments and things like that. So once you have gone and chosen all of these settings, you can click on save and get code. So once you click on that again, you can scroll down and you will see this short code here. So you're going to click on copy to clipboard 
And now we're gonna go over to the front of our WordPress website. Now I'm using Elementor, so I'm gonna hit edit with Elementor. And from here, I can go and add that short code to my homepage to display those Google reviews. Now it doesn't really matter what type of theme or page builder you are using. So whether you're using Gutenberg or Divi or any other type of theme or page builder, it should work pretty much the same way. So we are going to scroll down and I'm just going to go and add in a new element. So I'm just gonna click on the plus button. I'm gonna choose a single section. And from here, I'm going to go and search for a short code. So we're just gonna go and search for a short code and drag that into the middle here. And then we're just gonna paste in that short code for our Google reviews. And now if I just save this and exit to the page, and if we scroll down on the home page now to the bottom, we can see that those Google reviews have been displayed perfectly. And this was a completely free plugin. So that is how you can add Google reviews to your WordPress websites. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the Verpex channel for more WordPress related content. And hopefully we see you in the next one.